Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha Shoftim we learn the procedures of war, including the mitzvah not to destroy the fruit-bearing trees of the enemy. Today we are going to make a cityscape surrounded by trees using a method called decoupage. Here are the supplies we will need. Five sheets of green cardstock in five different shades, the tree template printed on varying shades of green cardstock, scissors, a pen, a dark green marker, double-sided square foam stickers, and lastly, but this is optional, the template of a cityscape printed on the lightest cardstock sheet. Let's begin. Draw a large squiggly shape on the darkest piece of cardstock. The shape should take up most of the sheet. Fold the paper in half and make a few cuts in the middle. Now that you have it cut in the middle somewhat, you can remove the whole middle area with scissors. After which, you can carefully cut along the line where you drew the squiggle. You should be left with a cutout that is thin around the edges with a large empty space in the middle. Place the dark green cutout on top of the next lighter sheet of cardstock and use it as a guide to draw the same shape but smaller. Cut it out in the same way you cut out the first sheet except this time you should be left with a cutout that has slightly thicker edges and a slightly smaller space in the middle. Repeat the same process with the next two sheets except each time draw the shape a bit smaller. You should be left with two more cutouts that are the same shape as the previous ones, except that one should have slightly wider edges than the second cutout, and the last one should have the widest edges of them all. Next, lay the cutouts from lightest to darkest on the background, which will be our lightest piece of cardstock. At this point, choose whether you'd like to print the cityscape onto the background, or if you'd like to draw it on. If you choose to draw it, use a dark green marker to create buildings and houses, then add windows and a shining sun. Imagine you went back in time and the Jewish people were on their way to war against an enemy. They needed to set up a base and camp. One young soldier, Shlomo, wanted to help with the war effort. He looked around for what he could do. Noticing a vineyard at the edge of the main city, he had an idea. I'll set fire to the vineyard. This will set the city soldiers back and make it easier to capture the city. He went off to find his friend Moshe to help. When Moshe heard the plan, he looked horrified. We can't do that. There's a mitzvah not to cut down the fruit trees of our enemies. Shlomo suddenly remembered. Thank you for reminding me. Otherwise, I would have made a mistake. Next, cut out the trees from the template. Once you're done, set them aside. In giving us this mitzvah, the Parsha teaches us that we may not destroy useful resources, such as fruit trees, for no reason. In the context of war, this includes not destroying such trees just to scare the enemy. If there is a situation where there is a need to cut them down, there is room for doing so. But doing so needlessly is in opposition to what Hashem wants of us. It is now time to put all the pieces together. Use double-sided square foam stickers to attach the bottom layer to the background. To do so, flip over the cutout, stick about six foam stickers to the four corners and two sides, then peel off the second side of each sticker and lay it right over the cityscape so that it peeks through. Repeat the same process with the remaining three cutouts going in order of size and color. This idea applies especially to a fruit tree, even one that is simply growing in your yard, since the fruits growing on it provide an additional level of sustenance. But the same concept also applies to any sort of materials we interact with. The Torah tells us that it is not okay to ruin or destroy anything that has use, also known as the mitzvah of Baal Tashchus. What is one way you can be more careful not to ruin useful materials or waste food for no reason? Sometimes we might not waste things on purpose, but this is about taking an extra minute to be more mindful of the way we treat the objects and resources we are lucky to have. Next, it's time to add the trees to the scene. Attach a foam sticker or two to each tree. For a clean look, place the sticker on the printed side. Attach the smallest trees first, sticking them somewhere near the middle at slightly different heights. Tuck their trunks between the layers of the first and second cutouts. Then lay down the medium-sized trees so that they frame the smaller trees. Lastly, attack the largest trees at the outermost edges. Tuck the trunks of all four trees between the third and fourth cutouts. And with that, your tree-surrounded cityscape is ready. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we hope to see you again next week.